I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products, including the Debt Destroyer book. I'm here with Professor Blois. We're doing another short but sweet video today on number theory. Yes. Professor, um, I'd like you to show us some good questions and see what you got on this. Okay, All yeah. right. let's get into number theory now, just a little bit here. Here's the first problem. All of these are related. Find the greatest common factor. GCF of these two numbers, 50,000 and 1,900. What is the greatest common factor? It's the largest number that will divide into each of these. All right, but at first, this looks like an enormous problem. We would have to find the prime factorization of each, but notice that 19 is a prime number. Okay, so if I were to break this down into the product of two smaller numbers, 19 times 100. 19 is not gonna break down any further. It's a prime number. Look at 50,000, how does that break down? That breaks down into 500 times 100. Well, there we have it. The largest number that's gonna divide into both of those numbers is 100. You're not gonna get any larger or smaller than that, so the GCF is 100. All right, let's move to the next one. Find the greatest common factor of 60,735 and 60, 630,736. Oh my God, you know, when you, if you first look at this and you're gonna say, oh my God, I'm gonna to have to find the prime factorization of this huge number, unless you know the secret, okay? There's a secret in number theory that if you have two consecutive numbers, n and n plus one, the primes and their prime factorization share nothing in common. They have nothing in common. Their greatest common factor is one. And if you don't believe me, just take, take an example, like uh, how about 50 and 51? 50 and 51. Let's find the prime factorization of each of those, just as, a, as, a, as an example of two consecutive numbers. What do we have for 50? It's 10 times 5, there's a prime number, and 10 is 2 times 5. So the prime factorization of 50, 2 times 5 times 5. What's the prime factorization of 51? It's 3 times 17. Both of them are prime numbers. Now take a look at the prime factorization of these two. Do they have anything in common? No, the greatest common factor of 50 and 51, two consecutive integers, is one. Likewise here, we have 630,735, 630,736, they're consecutive numbers. The greatest common factor of these two numbers is one. On to the next problem. And that's how easy it is once you know the secret. Okay, find the smallest common factor other than one of 40,014 and 70, 73,101. Well, once again, it's like, oh my God, do I have to find the prime factorization of each of these? Not unless you know a little, another little secret about number theory. Let's add the digits up of 40,014. Four plus zero plus zero plus one plus four. That adds up to nine. Okay, I know that in number theory, if the digits of a number add up to a multiple of three, the number is divisible by three. Okay, let's add up the digits here. Seven plus three plus one plus zero plus one. What does that add up to? That adds up to 12, and then one plus two is three. So both of these numbers, their digits add up to three. What does that tell us? Each of these numbers is divisible by three. Is that the smallest common factor other than one? Well, the only other smaller factor is two. Well, I know this is an odd number. Two divides into an even number, but not an odd number. So I am guaranteed that both, not each, each of these numbers is divisible by three. That is the smallest common factor other than one. Just a little number theory to help along. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. Um, I'd like to do one quick question with you. Oh, yeah. In the normal, you like numbers, right? Yeah, you sure. like numbers, I'll, I'll give numbers. you a yeah. number. Yeah. Um, in the normal human adult, how many teeth? 20, 32, 32. 34, 32. 38, or 5,000 teeth? I've got 5 teeth, 32. I yeah. honestly didn't think you knew that. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I, I, I just wanted to... I with all mercury, right. but... Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> I just wanted to see if we could catch Professor Blois on numbers. He wanted numbers. I was going to give him a number, but he got it. All right, thank <laughs> you very much. You got us again. Um, I'll see you guys in our next video clip. Bye-bye.